While not overlooking the fact that the recent demonstrations nationwide and in many parts of the world came at the price of a man's life, there has been real change to come out of them. And in a special 360 tonight, we look at an early list of changes and improvements that have already happened because of George Floyd's death. I'm a glasses half full kind of guy. While I am fully aware of the anger and frustration and aching need to fix racism and all the sins that stem from it, the George Floyd protests have already brought about change, and I want to take a moment to assess some of it. Colorado's largest police departments, Denver, Aurora, and Colorado Springs, have now banned so-called chokeholds. Similar bans are now in effect in Minneapolis and New York City as well. The city of Cleveland has declared racism a public health crisis. That will put into place guidelines to fix the disparities that have led blacks in that city to have poor health. Congress is working on police reform legislation. Adidas just pledged that at least 30% of all new hires will be black or Latino. The CEO of CrossFit resigned after making insensitive remarks about George Floyd. The Carolina Panthers NFL team took down the statue of former owner Jerry Richardson, who was fined for sexual and racial misconduct. We don't know whether that's permanent just yet. NASCAR just banned the Confederate flag at its races and events. Confederate statues have been removed in Louisville, Jacksonville, Birmingham, Montgomery, Nashville. Antwerp, Belgium took down a 150-year-old statue of King Leopold II, who killed millions with his seizure of Congo in the 19th century. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary is changing the definition of racism to include systemic oppression at the suggestion of a young black woman from Missouri. And maybe most impactful of all, we're talking in our homes about racism and what we are or aren't doing about it. And all of these changes, and this is by no means a complete list, came about because of the protest. I mean, the dictionary changed a word for heaven's sakes. And all these changes happened in less than three weeks. George Floyd was killed May 25th. The protest began May 26th. If you marched, if you made signs, if you made phone calls or gave money, or called somebody out for making a racist remark, or just talked with a family member, you did all this. You accomplished this in less than three weeks. I mean, you can't get a city council to agree on which trees to plant in a park in three weeks. This is unprecedented. Is it enough? No, not even close. Will more be done? Sure seems like it. Can more be done? Always. And now it's your turn to weigh in. We want to hear about the changes happening that you have seen in your town or neighborhood or your home. Please email us 360 at the Denver Channel .com.